Have you ever gotten a text like this from your husband or your boyfriend? And you're like, uh, okay, let me work on that. And then you're just like, ah, um, ah. You know, it's like, how the heck do you do a boudoir selfie? So today I'm going to show you how. So let's go. The way you say my name just makes me tremble deep inside. First thing that you're going to do is pick a pose. What you can do is you can hop over to my Instagram and scroll through. And as you're scrolling, 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 <laughs> if I could just talk today, as you're scrolling through, find a pose that you really like, and then you are going to screenshot that pose. And then once you have a few poses on your phone, then we will get started with the next tip. Next, you are going to choose an outfit or you can go with no outfit. So totally up to you. <laughs> you could do whatever you want, whether you want it to be tasteful or if you want to be super wild. So um, I will link down below. I have a great video on Amazon lingerie. So if you don't have anything to wear, you can watch that and find some cute little pieces. Almost everything is under $20 and it's all Amazon Prime. So check that out, I'll link it down below. I'll also put a link up in the cards for you so you can watch it after this video. Here are my three inspiration poses for my boudoir selfie. And I always have to say I'm a little bit nervous before I do a selfie. And if you're nervous, don't sweat it. Take your time and just have fun with it. I'm gonna go put on my outfit and I'm going to show you the next few tips on how to get a great boudoir selfie. Okay, so I am changed and ready to go. So before we get started, I just wanna say that if I can do this in front of all of YouTube, <laughs> you can do this in the privacy of your own home. You've got this girl, do it, just do it. I'm gonna prepare you. I'm gonna give you all the tools you need today to be able to take a bomb selfie. You ready? Okay, so first, let me show you the things that you are going to need. Or that, if, I mean, you can definitely do it without this stuff, but I'm just gonna show you a couple things and you can pick two of them that are gonna make it so much easier for you to do a photo without having to set a self timer or without having to figure out how to prop your phone up. And one of them is a selfie stick. So the thing about this selfie stick is that it opens up like a little tripod stand from the bottom, which is fantastic. So it doesn't go up super high. So that's the other thing about this one, but you can set it on a table on your dresser, or if you're shooting from a low perspective, then you have that. And you can also handhold it. So if you want to handhold it and shoot some selfies on the bed, you can do that as well. So this one is fantastic for that. I love this one. I use it for everything, like for like my own like self portraits to use for Instagram and for social. It's just such a great little selfie stick. So anyway, let me show you another one. This one is more like a tripod, so it opens up these little feet it stands so it can get a lot taller. This is the one that I'm gonna use today because it's just easier to use than the other one for especially because I'm gonna do some wider shots and some that are further back and I don't wanna have to set this one on the table. So this one, I can just stand it from the floor. And these are all really inexpensive on Amazon. I will link them below so you can find them easy. You could also research and find some other ones. This one's my favorite. I've gone through a couple different ones and I love this one because I can do a horizontal or vertical which is basically a landscape or a portrait photo. So you can set it up different ways. And then I also have a clicker. So basically what this is, it's a little remote that I can set up Bluetooth on my phone and I'm able to take photos that way without having to set a timer. Trust me, you will love this. It is like, it makes it so stinking easy. Like it's super easy to use this. And I have a backup. <laughs> This one actually is battery, or both of these are battery operated. This selfie stick actually comes with one too that is a USB plug-in so you can plug it in and charge it. 
but I don't love this one as much because the battery doesn't last super long and I tend to forget to charge it. So I love the little battery operated ones because they last forever and I only have to change the battery maybe once a year. So these are great and I just have a couple so I always have a backup in case I can't find one then I can find the other one. So, but anyway, so I'll link these down below too. Like I said, super cheap on Amazon. So definitely make sure you get a couple of these because it's gonna make it so much easier. So before we get to the behind the scenes of me showing you how I'm gonna take my selfies, let me also point out that you need to make sure you clean your lens on your phone. So there's nothing worse than having blurry looking photos because your lens is dirty. So whatever you have to clean it, whether it's your shirt or whatever, make sure you clean that. Um, and then also if you have an iPhone, make sure you have it on live view because that's going to be so helpful. If you get a shot that you really like, but you blinked or you don't love, you know something about it like maybe you turned in the photo but you want to go back and get the a different angle so if you do some motion in your photos too then definitely have it on live view another tip is to have the grid on and i don't know well i don't think you can really see what the grid looks like probably not but um but you want to have the grid on so when you set up your phone for your photo that way you can make sure it's straight I mean, this isn't super important, but it's just helpful if you want your photos to be kind of straight. So I'm ADD, so I definitely want my photos to be straight. So just a little tip there. Okay, so let's get into it. I've looked at my inspiration on the phone, so now I have everything set up, and I'm just going to step back, and I am going to get at it. So my biggest tip is just take a lot of photos. So you're just gonna take tons of photos. And I'm sorry, this might look a little bit dark from your angle since I'm shooting into the light, but I'll switch it around in a few minutes so you can see. But, um, so I'm just gonna pose and then I'm gonna change my pose a bunch of times. And then I have the clicker in my hand, I'm just gonna hide it and behind the sheet. Exaggerating, so you definitely want to. Let me turn this this way. Oh, it's so dark. Definitely want to over exaggerate when you're posing, and you'll be able to see this in the camera. Don't worry about like trying to over exaggerate, just do it, and then you can see yourself how great it looks. So, if you're trying to get a cute booty shot, you want to pop your booty out even more so it looks really cute for photos. So as you can see, I am over exaggerating when I'm posing, like when I'm bending my knee, I'm pulling it up really high and I'm over exaggerating, popping my booty out or leaning my chest out because that's going to look so much more sexy than if I'm just standing there like this. So definitely take as many shots as you want to and over exaggerate and you're going to get something fantastic. <laughs> I feel like this is a little too much. <laughs> Here, let me put a robe on. I just finished the first pose. I did go ahead and take off my lingerie to do the pose like what I screenshot. Screenshot. Screen. Screenshot? How do you say that? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so I'll share that with you right now and let me tell you about it. So I'll show you both. I'll show you with the lingerie and then I took it off so I can make it a little more authentic and I didn't do the behind the scenes for that one just because I didn't want to show the world all I got. So, um, so anyway, so I'll show you those right now. Here is the inspiration photo again and then here are the few favorites that I picked. I did take a lot of photos just to get a few that I really liked. So keep that in mind. Take a lot of photos. Let me know down below in the comments how you think I did. So what do you think? Do you think, did I nail it? I hope so. Okay, also I'm sorry, I had my super wide lens on for the behind the scenes, so that's why I look so wild right now. But so let's do pose number two. I'm gonna try to not flash y'all too much here. It's getting wild. The hardest part is getting into the pose that you wanna do. So the one that I'm copying or um, emulating is, 
a lot harder than I thought. Oh my goodness. So, okay, here goes. So one of the tricks is you just want to keep changing your angle to try to get the best pose possible. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Too far over. <laughs> second pose my best advice that I can give is to take a lot of photos and change your angles try a few different things don't strictly go by the pose that you're using for inspiration try other stuff too you'll be able to see it in the camera so you'll know if you're doing a good job or not so my third pose for inspiration I'm actually gonna do with my selfie stick because I feel like it might be easier for me to control and to get the right angle so that way and I probably could just hand hold my um, my tripod as well but I'm gonna do it with a stick because I feel like that's easier and like I said this one pops out so if I wanted to use it as a stand I could but for this shot I'm gonna hand hold it so let's go okay <sighs> get the girls ready So sometimes I put the clicker in my hand, but then I just hold, spread my hand out and then I hold it to press the button so that way you don't really see it. You can even hold it underneath your clothing as well, like if you want to put your hand like further back. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm channeling my inner Kim Kardashian here, so let's see how I can do. Oh, I'm about to embarrass myself. And then I'm gonna improvise some like I do with all my shots and do something a little different. So that way I don't have to do exactly what the inspiration photo is. I can change it up a little bit and do something else. So I'm actually going to switch to a vertical shot. Did y'all notice that I lift my eyebrows when I'm doing, I'm always like, Hi, how are you? So, you know, that's my sexy look. <laughs> but anyway, so that's it for these three shots and I will share this one right now so you can see what that looks like. I'll pick my favorite out of this and you can see it. Here are my favorite images from the third pose and a couple of additional images that I took on the bed with a selfie stick. If you want to look 10 years younger, definitely do a laying back shot with a selfie stick. It just looks fantastic. I also used a skin smoothing app, which I will list below in the description. Something else that I wanted to tell you guys, if you do your selfie, it's 
great. I'm sure that you can get some great stuff. However, in, it, no matter where you live, if you decide that you need a boudoir photographer, I am an international boudoir photographer and I travel all over the world for a boudoir session. So call me. I would love to be your boudoir photographer. And if you ever have any questions, just drop them down below. I'm always happy to answer. And I appreciate you watching today. Oh, also hit that like button. I need those likes. So please hit the like bu bu button for me. I hope that you will follow me on my Instagram and hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in the future. Thanks again for stopping in and watching my video. Bye guys.